guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I've got this very bronzy, glittery look with the pop of the neon in the inner corner. I don't know why I did that. But if you want to see how I create this look, then please continue watching. And I also use Jeffree Star's new um, The Gloss as well, which recently came out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please do, and hopefully you continue watching this video. So I've already got one eyeball done, as you can see. And for the crease, I'm gonna go with this color. Where are you? I'm gonna go with this color, which is from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And apply it straight into the crease. I'm just packing the shade on first and then I'll go in and blend. So to deepen up the crease a bit more further, I'm gonna go with this shade, where are you? I'm gonna go with this shade, which is just the one along on the right hand side and apply that more into the outer corner. And again, pack that on first and then go in and blend. As I've mentioned before, there isn't a, a matte shade, which is light enough for me to use. So I'm gonna go with Makeup Geeks, um, I think it's Peach Smoothie, and apply this under the brow bone. And what this will do is just clean everything up and make the brows look a bit more sharper. I'll go back in with that original brush and just further blend everything. For the eyelid, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown color and then I'll apply the glitter on top. I've gone a bit too far with the color here. I'm just using that shade that I used peach smoothie with just to erase and blend it out. So for the glitter, I'm going to go in with OPZ's Pressed Glitter and this is in the shade Dubai, that one there. I've got a glue onto my eyelid and this is the Lit Cosmetic Glue. And then I'm going to pick up a flat brush and apply the, gl the glue onto the lids and make sure it's tacky when I apply the glitter because that will help it to stick on. I've applied the glitter glue where I need it to go. Just wait for that to dry a little bit. But I'm gonna use my finger to apply the glitter first and then to clean up the edges, I'll use the brush. I just think that your finger picks up the glitter way nicer and more evenly. Whereas the brush will skip a lot of the color. So now I'm gonna pick up the brush that I applied the glitter with and just go around the edges to make it look a lot more neater. So I have applied powder underneath my eyes as well, just to catch any fallout, which we have got a little bit there. So once you're happy with that, you can now go in with the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I went in with those two shades that we used in the crease. So them two right there. And picked up a little, I find it, there we go, a little brush just to blend out the lower lash line. So next I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the glitter glue and this is for the green pigment that you can see and this is from Blush Tribe, that's the, the pigment, it's bright neon green and I'm going to pick up a little brush like this one here and this is the Morphe M508 and apply a little bit of the glue onto my brush and pick up the tiniest bit of this pigment because that's all you need and I'm going to make like a little paste onto the back of my hand and go and apply it onto the inner corner. And at the minute neon is very in trend and I love how it looks as well. I just forgot to mention that I did go over with Urban Decay's Punk Rock Heavy Glitter Liner on top of that brown glitter just to bring some colour going as well. This has got little bits of purple glitter, but it's got the dark brown base. So I'm just sporadically applying this all over the eyelid. And that's it, so I'll just go and do everything else and then I'll be right back. So for the lip combo, I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star's Thick As These and Can't Relate Liquid Lipsticks. It's these two here. So I'm gonna go with Thick As These on the outer area of my lips and then the Can't Relate on the center, just to give it that pouty look. I'm just going in with Essence Lip Liner in Deeply Intoxicated, just to darken it around the edges. And then for gloss, I'm going to go with Jeffree Star's Diamond Juice, which is this one here. 
and just apply that mainly in the center so this basically is the final look guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial if you did then give it a thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you all soon thank you bye <laughs>